Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you the new board view. So currently, when we go and create um, a view, we have a list view, we have a calendar view based on the date, we have a gallery which uh, creates like cards, and the new one is a board view. So let's see how we do it. And and what the, so I have a list that has a, a title which has tasks. We have statuses that have several statuses. Let's see, edit. So I have new in progress and closed. And I have a yes, no column, which is um, if it's open or closed. Um, now what I will do is actually, I will go to the drop down here of all, all items and create a new view. I will give it a name. Let's call it a um, Let's call it uh, status and I will choose board. Now, when I need to define how to organize it. So at first I will choose according to status and uh, save it. So let's see what happens. Now we have all of the values of the status of the column. Uh, and what we can do is actually, we can move it just like in planner and you see also the status has changed. So task three, I want to change it to closed and also task four and even task five, actually I'm unassigning and it will not have any uh, value. Um, now we can also define which uh, columns or which will show in this uh, board view. So if we click here and go to customize card, we could choose if we want the title to be, if we want to move it up front, if we want to show the name of the columns. And uh, yeah, you can drag and drop and just save it. And uh, actually now, now let's see here, actually if you want to add another um, uh, value, so we could just say a demo and actually here, we created another uh, place. Now, in any of these things, we can create a new item and just uh, it gives the status as default. So let's call it task 10 and it's, let's say it's, and now it added it. Okay, so um, let's see how, how it works actually on um, a different column. So I will go here and do um, create a new view. I will charge, choose a board. Let's uh, give it a name. Let's call it demo two. And this time in, instead of, um, let's say I don't have a column. So I can say create a column organized by. So you see it's automatically will create a new column uh, We'll take the name of the view and, and say that it's a choice. We can rename it later. So let's create it. Now you noticed everything here is unassigned. So actually I can give values. So for this, uh, let's call this a uh, step one and let's call this step two and let's call it step, step three. So now actually I can take the tasks and move them and it will assign uh, the values. As you see here, step is not here. So we can customize the card and this is the name and we could mark it. Then we can rename it. Okay. Now let's try to do the, the same thing for a yes, no column. Let's go to create a new view. Let's call it a yes, no. Let's go to board and choose a status, not status, but closed yes or no. So you noticed actually here you see the splits of yes and no, and we can split between them and uh, play around. And again, we can customize the card, add the title, I don't know how it is with, with images, but we can try to do it. Um, 
let's just um, go back to see the whole list now we wanted we don't see here the new uh, column that was uh, created so I'll click on add a column and then I will search for this demo 2 choice and I will apply so now I see the values now I can also rename let's give it a, a, a let's call it steps and now everything looks good so this is a first test uh, there might be new things there might might be bugs but uh, let's see how it goes uh, so um, try it and let me know what you think if you like my video subscribe to my channel SharePoint Wiz this is Ami Diamond have a good day bye bye